Billionaire's Warning Who is Andre Estevez? Andre Estevez is a very smart billionaire. He has made a name for himself in the world of finance through his sharp acumen and strategic thinking. He founded BTG Pactual, a big bank in Brazil. This bank has grown to become one of the most influential financial institutions in Latin America, playing a crucial role in various sectors. He knows a lot about money. His expertise spans across investment banking, asset management, and wealth management, making him a key figure in the financial world. Steves is worried about the United States. His concerns are not just casual observations, but are based on deep analysis and understanding of global financial trends. He sees big problems with our country's finances. The issues he points out are critical and could have long-term implications if not addressed promptly. He says we are spending way too much money. The government's expenditure is far exceeding its revenue, leading to a precarious financial situation. And we aren't talking about it enough. The lack of serious discussion and action on these financial issues is alarming. Steves is worried about the U.S. deficit. The national debt is ballooning, and this could lead to severe economic consequences. The deficit is how much more money the government spends than it takes in. This gap is widening every year, putting more strain on the economy. He says it's getting out of control. The unchecked growth of the deficit could lead to a financial crisis. He's also worried about money printing. The government's approach to creating more money to cover its expenses is not sustainable. That's when the government creates more money. This practice can devalue the currency and lead to other economic issues. This can lead to inflation, where everything costs more. Inflation erodes the purchasing power of money, making everyday goods and services more expensive. As Steve's warnings are important, his insights are based on years of experience and a deep understanding of financial systems. He's not just some random guy, his track record speaks for itself, and his opinions carry weight in the financial community. He's a successful businessman who understands finance. His ability to foresee financial trends and issues has been proven time and again. When he talks, people listen. His warnings should not be taken lightly as they come from a place of knowledge and concern for the future. We should pay attention to what he's saying. The U.S. needs to get its financial house in order. Addressing these issues now could prevent a larger crisis in the future. A deafening silence, the U.S. deficit problem. The issue of the U.S. deficit is one that looms large over the nation's financial future, yet it often goes unspoken in everyday conversations. The U.S. deficit is a big problem. It's a complex issue that affects every American, whether they realize it or not. The deficit represents the gap between what the government spends and what it earns in revenue. It keeps growing every year. This continuous increase is alarming because it means the country is borrowing more and more money to cover its expenses. But people aren't talking about it enough. Many are unaware of the long-term consequences of a growing deficit, such as higher taxes and reduced public services. Steves is concerned about this lack of debate. He believes that without public discourse, the problem will continue to be ignored by policymakers. He says it's like everyone is ignoring the elephant in the room. This metaphor highlights the obvious yet unaddressed nature of the deficit issue. When we spend more than we make, we go into debt. This is true for individuals and for the government. The difference is, the government's debt affects the entire economy. The U.S. has a lot of debt. This debt is held in the form of government bonds, which are essentially IOUs that need to be paid back with interest. This debt has to be paid back with interest. The interest payments alone can become a significant burden on the federal budget. The more debt we have, the more interest we pay. This creates a vicious cycle where borrowing leads to more borrowing just to cover the interest payments. This takes money away from other important things, like education and infrastructure. When funds are diverted to pay interest, less is available for essential services that improve quality of life. As Steve says, we need to have an honest conversation about the deficit. He argues that transparency and public engagement are crucial for finding a solution. We need to find ways to cut spending and increase revenue. This could involve difficult decisions, such as reducing certain programs or increasing taxes. If we don't, the problem will only get worse. The longer we wait, the more difficult and painful the solutions will become. It's time to face reality and start making tough choices. The future of the nation depends on our willingness to address the deficit head on and make the necessary sacrifices for long-term stability. Tale of Two Economies Brazil vs. U.S. Fiscal Concerns 
As Steves compares the U.S. to Brazil, Brazil has had its own problems with debt and inflation. Investors are often worried about Brazil's economy, but as Steves says investors should be more worried about the U.S., he says the U.S. is making the same mistakes as Brazil. We are spending too much and printing too much money. This is a recipe for disaster. As Steves says the U.S. needs to learn from Brazil's mistakes. We need to get our fiscal house in order. We need to be more responsible with our spending. If we don't, we could end up in a similar situation as Brazil. It's time to take action before it's too late. The Fed's Balancing Act Communication and its Discontents The Federal Reserve is the central bank of the U.S. It controls the money supply. The Fed has been printing a lot of money in recent years. This is called quantitative easing. The Fed says it's necessary to stimulate the economy. But as Steves is worried about the long-term effects of this policy, he says it's creating asset bubbles. An asset bubble is when the price of something goes up much faster than its real value. This can lead to a crash. As Steves is also critical of the Fed's communication. He says the Fed is over-communicating. This is creating confusion in the markets. Investors don't know what to expect. This uncertainty can lead to volatility. Section 5. A Looming Crisis? The Global Impact of U.S. Fiscal Policy The U.S. is the world's largest economy, a powerhouse that influences global markets and economies. What happens in the U.S. affects everyone, from stock exchanges in Tokyo to trade ships in Rotterdam. As Steve is, a renowned economist, is worried that the U.S.'s fiscal problems could lead to a global crisis impacting businesses and economies worldwide. He emphasizes that the U.S. dollar is the world's reserve currency, a cornerstone of international finance. This means that other countries hold U.S. dollars as reserves, relying on its stability for their own economic security. If the U.S. dollar loses value, it will hurt other countries, causing a ripple effect that could destabilize global markets. It will also make it harder for the U.S. to borrow money, increasing interest rates and causing financial strain. As Steve says, the U.S. needs to get its act together, urging policymakers to take immediate action. We need to address our fiscal problems before they cause a global crisis. The world is watching, and our actions will have far-reaching consequences. We need to show them that we are serious about fixing our economy, demonstrating our commitment to fiscal responsibility and global stability. International cooperation is crucial. By working together, we can mitigate risks and ensure a stable economic future for all. The interconnectedness of our world means that no country is an island. The U.S. must lead by example, showing that it can manage its fiscal policies effectively. The decisions made in Washington, D.C. will echo across the globe, influencing economic policies and stability in every corner of the world. The stakes are high and the time to act is now. The global economy depends on the U.S. making the right choices. Together, we can navigate these challenges and build a more secure and prosperous world for future generations. Section 6. Navigating Uncertainty Investment Strategies in a Debt-Ridden World So, what does this all mean for investors? As Steve says investors need to be careful, they need to be aware of the risks in the market. He says it's important to diversify your portfolio. This means investing in a variety of assets. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. As Steves also says investors need to be patient, the market goes up and down. Don't panic and sell everything when the market goes down. Stay calm and ride out the storm. He believes in long-term investing. Find good companies and hold on to them. Don't try to time the market, it's too risky. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Section 7. The Case for Fiscal Responsibility, A Call to Action As Steves' warnings are a wake-up call. We need to start talking about the U.S. deficit and money printing. These are serious issues that affect us all. We can't afford to ignore them any longer. We need to demand that our leaders address these issues. We need to hold them accountable for their decisions. We need to let them know that we are watching. We need to make our voices heard. The future of our country is at stake. We need to act now before it's too late. We need to come together as a nation and find solutions. We need to put aside our differences and work towards a common goal. Section 8. Beyond the Headlines, Understanding the True Cost of Debt The media often talks about the deficit in abstract terms, but the deficit has real-world consequences. It affects our everyday lives. When the government borrows money, it has to pay interest. This interest adds up over time. The more debt we have, 
the more interest we pay. This money could be used for other things like education, healthcare, and infrastructure. The debt also burdens future